shift your plans today? Sorry, I didn't quite catch your question, Sarah. It's good to be joining you. I was just you. asking you uh, what the Police Federation Conference made of your plans when you outlined them to them today. All right. Yes, well, I, I mean, I was taking the opportunity today as the new Home Secretary to give them a flavour of the sort of Home Secretary I'm going to be and the sort of deal I want uh, to, uh, to have with the police, which is that as a government, we will give the police more responsibility, we'll free up frontline officers to get on with the job that the public want them to do, that they want to be doing by slashing bureaucracy, uh, giving them some more p uh, discretion over charging for certain offences. And uh, in the other hand, we will also change the model of bureaucratic accountability that we've had with the Labour government of dick tax down from Whitehall all the time, increased red tape, uh, by a model of democratic accountability which will be directly elected individuals in police forces who will be able to ensure that policing in their area is actually responsive to local needs. Uh, you got a round of applause when you uh, said you wanted to make them crime fighters rather than form fillers, but your predecessor, Alan Johnson, has been talking to us. He was very critical, saying there's a contradiction between what you've been saying about helping the police to do their jobs and what Nick Clegg was saying as well about CCTV and DNA, saying that actually restricting the use of CCTV and DNA would prevent the police from doing their jobs. Well, I think one of the problems that prevents the police from doing their job at the moment is the excessive bureaucracy and red tape. That's why, as I say, we will slash bureaucracy, get more police out on the streets. That's what the public want to see, the police out on the streets, able to do the job of preventing crime, detecting crime and, of course, catching criminals. Uh, and what we want to do is to ensure that we have a different relationship, that we're not just about diktats from the centre. And what has happened in the past, of course, there has to be a certain amount of paperwork for uh, intelligence, for the uh, uh, protection of individuals and so forth but what we want to do is to change that model uh, stop I'm not going to be the sort of Home Secretary who's trying to run police forces. That's not my job. What I want to do is to ensure that we have democratic accountability for the police at local level, but that in return they have more freedom. We trust them as professionals to get on with their job. I think what Alan Johnson was arguing was if you restrict the use of CCTV, the use of the DNA database, then the police can't do their job. Solves, uh, crimes can't be solved as easily without those powers. Well, let's just look at what the Labour government did in relation to the DNA database. They wanted to hold the DNA of innocent people, but they didn't even have on the DNA database the DNA of all people who'd been convicted of crime and were in prison. Uh, so let's first of all get the DNA uh, on the database of those people who've been convicted of crime and are in prison. Uh, I think the last Labour government took the wrong approach to this. Change is needed. As you know, the Deputy Prime Minister, Nick Clegg, has, has uh, referred to that today. Uh, it's a commitment that we had as a Conservative Party. It's something the Liberal Democrats have been uh, very concerned about as well. So we're going to take this forward. But as I say, let's get the DNA of those people who are in prison on the database first. What about job cuts and pay cuts? Six billion pound deficit needs to be cut. What's that going to mean for the police force? Well, of course, we live in very tough economic times because of the size of the budget deficit that was left by the last Labour government. And this does mean that tough decisions have to be taken and the Home Office and, and policing will have to bear some share of that burden. But what I have been able to confirm to the police is that we will abide by the third year of the three-year pay deal that was negotiated under the last Labour government. Theresa May in Bournemouth, thanks very much indeed for your time this afternoon. Nick Clegg has set out his plans for wide-scale reforms to give the public a bigger say in Westminster politics in his first major...